Hello everyone. Good morning. Dear authors and invited guests, welcome to technical session 5A. Myself, Vishita Sauryan, and this session will be moderated by me. On behalf of Global Knowledge Research Foundation, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the seventh World Conference on Smart Trends in Systems, Security, and Sustainability, World Expo 2023, London, UK. The seventh edition of the conference is being organized in a hybrid mode. The physical event was held in London, UK on 21st August 2023, and the virtual event is being held through Zoom today, and it happened yesterday, that is 23rd and 24th August 2023. I hope you will enjoy the knowledgeable interactive sessions through the day. In this session, we have six presentations. Each presenter will be given 12 minutes for the presentation and three minutes for question and answers. On 10 minutes, I will raise a gentle reminder. There is another request to all the participants that you all stay connected with us till the closing remarks. If you have any query or update, then you can write it to me in the chat box. Just before we start the session, I would like to introduce you all to the session chair. Uh, my screen isn't working. Anisha, ma'am, could you please screen share? Sure, just a minute. I'd like to introduce our session chair, Professor Ivizal Abdul Qadir, Senior Lecturer, Universities at Islam Riau, Indonesia. Professor Abdul joined Islamic University of Riau, Indonesia as a lecturer at Department of Informatics Engineering and is currently an Associate Professor in Informatics Engineering, Faculty of Engineering. He is a senior member of IEEE and a member of ACM. His research interests are in software quality models and architectures, software measurements, information systems, software engineering, machine learning, information security, cybersecurity, and e-systems. Thank you for your presence, sir. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, good, uh, good morning. Actually, we are in good afternoon in Indonesia. Thank you for inviting me as a session chair. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our next session chair, Professor Priyanka Sharma, Professor and Dean Raksha Shakti University, Ahmedabad, India. Currently, she's working as Professor ID and Dean Extension and Distance Learning at Rashtriya Prayaksha University. She has also worked as Dean Research and Publications and Director Research and Development in Raksha Shakti University and Head of IT and TC Department and Director of SITAICS. She's having a total of 23 years of experience in teaching. Her research work on cyber law framework has been submitted to Justice BN Sri Krishna Committee on Data Protection Framework. We welcome you, ma'am. We'll be starting with the papers now. I'd, be, I'd like to invite the first paper presenter, Diana, to present the paper titled A Comparative Documentary Analysis of the Brazilian Digital Transformation Strategies Adopted in Enabling Thematic Access of 2018-2022. Please go ahead, presenter. Hi, good morning. Can you hear me all? Yes, you are. Just a second. Can you see the, the, the presentation? Hello, yeah. now I can hear and see, right? Yes. Okay. So thank you, and uh, we missed that. Oh, thank you. Thank Good morning you. from Brazil. I'm Jana Lima, and it is my first time taking part of this kind of event. And it is, a, it is a huge pleasure for me to be here with you all. I will share with you a bit of this article, which is about a comparative analysis of the Brazilian digital transformation strategies from 2018 to 2022. So the, this study explores the strategic actions for the digital transformation of Brazil present in these two documents. This was done by observing the enabling access present in these two documents. I have tried to identify and understand the actions already achieved, what still needs to be implemented, and the challenges to be faced to reach these goals. So these two documents, the one from 2018 and the most recent one from 2022, were developed with the participation of, of representatives from civil society, academia, the private sector, and also government entities. Uh, it can be understood 
as a Brazilian document that brings a renewed diagnosis of the objectives to be achieved to overcome certain challenges of trans digital transformation in, in Brazil. It, it is revised every four years, and it is the result of an effort aimed at the full insertion of Brazil in the new digital world. Although we, we witness a large scientific production of the topical digital uh, government, there is a little theoretical development that supports the empirical studies of the impacts of digital government, government on the capacity of Brazil, especially concerning a comparative analysis of digital transformation strategies, their diagnosis, and directions for future initiatives. So it is written in those two documents that digital will not change Brazil. People will, uh, digital will help people and people will change Brazil. So these strategies contribute to the improving of public services, the generation of qualified jobs in the, the new digital economy, and the development of policies for better and more advanced education. The debate of the strategic actions in the major international development agenda is also a way of recognizing the importance of digital transformation. This is why the sustainable development goals of the United Nations Agenda 2030 stands out. So it's a, our uh, conceptual model of e-digital in Brazil, where you, we can see that it established five pillars, strategic pillars in its conceptual model, promoting digital inclusion through infrastructure, which main goals are to expand connectivity, stimulating research and development and innovation in technology, increasing security and trust in the digital environment, education, which is essential, uh, broadening opportunities and decreasing social inequalities, and also international perspective, which is related to how Brasilia, Brazil stands on this topic internationally. So trying to, to, to explore those five pillars uh, about infrastructure, Brazil has an extensive territorial uh, and, it, 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 and it is a challenge for us to implement things on this area. But we are expanding mobile and fixed broadband access networks in urban and rural areas of the country. And, but, but, but we have some regions have not yet been covered. About research and development, we have considerable advances were brought to the legal frameworks to the area. We are stimulating the emergence of innovation solutions based on digital technology through investments and partnerships. And trust, it is one of the most important area that we uh, progressed. And initiatives in this area have advanced greatly. Establishing partnership mechanism between government and federal entities and the private sector. It is one of the main, the main factor. Strengthening cybersecurity in the country and increasing and adopting best, best practices, coordinating incident response and protection of critical infrastructure. About education and international perspective, Education, we, we are trying, we have tried to connect in public, urban and hero schools with broadband access, which is work on infrastructure, providing equipment for the reach of digital technologies and incorporating digital technologies into school practice with the development of computational thinking among student skills. We are also trying to extend to teacher, especially concerning the use of technology in the classroom for them. 
about international perspective, which uh, is uh, aiming to strengthen Brazilian leadership in global forums related to digital issues. We are stimulating the competitiveness and the presence of Brazil companies abroad. We are already expanding the uh, of exports to through e-commerce has supported the insertion of small and the medium-sized Brazilian companies. And we are improving in this area uh, the country's image of the international scene. So my final considerations of these documents is that we faced with the dynamism of the new digital reality in which we live new factors emerge that change the way countries develop and implement the strategic digital transformation actions. This article brought an evaluation of e-digital in Brazil, presenting a comparative diagnosis between their versions. It was possible to verify that the Brazilian government has been developing digital initiatives through these strategic actions contributing for new and more tangible reality for all Brazilians, whether in academia, industry, or education, through the democratization of access to digital technologies, as well as, as, well as expanding initiatives to promote the creation of a safer and more reliable digital environment, and also an international partnership. So that's it. As I said, it is my first time being part of this kind of event, which, which is a, a huge honor for me being with you all. In Brazil, thank you, we say obrigada. So obrigada, thank you very much. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, so it's your first time, it was good. But can I ask you that uh, which of the initiative you felt that you can take it forward, you can do a bit more work on that uh, towards digital transformation in your uh, this uh, whatever presentation you have mentioned. So among all those, which one you feel that you can take it forward? Sorry, uh, Professor, I, I, I don't know if I could understand your question. Could you repeat, please? Like, see, what I'm trying to convey is, like, there may be many initiatives, many strategies, many policies, many techniques, tools, and right? adopted to make something good. And in your case, it is some this digital transformation. So which of specific things you feel that you it will be more helpful and work in depth? Uh, I don't know if I if I could understand, teacher. Sorry, but I think that those strategic actions we have many strategic uh, uh, alternatives for each pillars: infrastructure, education, trust. There are many, and I have tried to just compare what is being done, what is being progressing, one in one of them. What is the thing that is uh, still a huge challenge for us? And I could see that on trust, it was one of the, the pillars that we had the most, the better progress we have oh. established in these four years between 18, 2018 and comparing with the new one, the, the most recent one, 2022 strategic actions. We could see that on trust, we advanced a lot considering regulations, documents, and laws were established and partnership contracts between government entities in private sector and it is in other countries uh, through oh. these, these kind of things. So trust, I think that was one of the, yeah. the best ones. Okay, thank you. Thank you from my side. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Hello. Uh, I made a bit uh, simple question. 
you the data is uh, start the research uh, 2018 to 2020 as we know 2020 to 2022 there is a COVID. Uh, there is a two session before and uh, during COVID. 2018 is not yet COVID till 19. Then uh, 2020 till 2022, uh, COVID session. How is, is your result and uh, uh, the result of, of your research in this case, uh, digital transformation? Uh... I, I believe that this current one, the, 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 the most recent one version of e-digital in Brazil, it is this, uh, Mr. Kedi, uh, about 2022 version of e-digital. And it is uh, in course. We are trying to implement those strategic action who is already in, these, in this version of these documents. So we could... Uh, uh, rearrange, we could rearrange some strategy that was developed in the last version. And we are trying to implement many strategic actions who, who is presented in this last version. I don't know if I answer correctly what you asked. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, because normally is uh, during COVID, the connectivity during internet, uh, most of the people uh, going to the online meeting, everything. So uh, digital, more occupied compared than before. It's okay. It's okay because uh, our time is uh, quite time. Thank we you so much for your answer. Yeah? We advanced yeah, okay. in, in the infrastructure in Brazil. We expand the people who has uh, internet, internet access. We are expanding in this area. But unfortunately, because our size urban and rural areas, they are very different in Brazil and we are a huge country. It is still, we have already people that have not access on, to internet. So we are trying to, 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 to develop and to provide internet, internet for all to, to progress and to, to minimize these, these difference. To, Thank to you. get opportunities for all. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. Uh, we'll be moving on with the next paper. I'd like to invite Maria uh, to present the paper titled Implementation of Applied Artificial Intelligence for Urban Transportation Management. Please go ahead. Hello, everyone. I'm just trying to share with my Would you see my presentation? Yes, it's visible. Yes. <clears throat> First of all, I want to thank you for the possibility to present my topic and uh, greetings from Ukraine and from Estonia. And, and uh, I want to um, share with my some ideas about how to um, implement applied artificial intelligence for urban transportation management. And why this topic is important, because local government faces to the problem of the decision making under uncertainty. And this decision must be optimal, relevant, and more quickly. The decision in organization is usually made by human. The human limits are both cognitive and informational. All relevant information about future consequences of approach or tools can be suitable in order to avoid that limitation in urban transportation management in small towns, especially in small towns, because uh, uh, this uh, uh, research is more practicable. And then I will uh, show with my main results. Uh, the content of presentation uh, follow, we will consider on decision-making process, the basis for creating software and creating algorithm and software for problem solving and urban transportation management. The keywords are here as, as, as follow. And uh, we can mention that decision-making process uh, is often accompanied by endless disputes over one and another. And uh, we, think, we often think that the current situation is 
uh, and uh, how we, it can be improved. Uh, first, uh, it's necessary to firm uh, the desired state. If we want to receive a certain goal, uh, then in the, it's uh, completely logical to look at whether the situation with achieving or corresponding goal are similar in the world. We propose to, to find the system with similar situation. Our situation uh, is one is very similar to the situation is prime two. And it's not sufficiently, it's not sufficiently that situation as a second is, uh, is another, which is another case. And uh, it's possible that uh, a new stage of our system that uh, is the most similar of a situation as prime. Maybe the possible new stage uh, uh, of our system is very close or even the same if our current situation is one. If we have um, uh, or get situation that is similar as, as prime one, then it's plausible that which is a goal that's similar as second. And this uh, main idea uh, was a basis for our research and development, and we wanted to consider on development appropriate uh, applied artificial tools based on similarity for urban classification management especially for small towns. Uh, origin of the research, uh, the, uh, we mentioned, um, as I mentioned, uh, it's uh, work is practical, more practicable, and we wanted to understand how to justify implementation in Ostroh and uh, the Estonian small towns experiences as uh, small towns, and for uh, managing urban transportation system based on similarity, appropriate situations, condition, and resources. In this case, we propose to, to firm applied artificial intelligence approach based on problems and their solution for public transportation. Uh, the approach has management to uh, avoid irrational decision. Uh, I mentioned in my scientific paper more logical approach, how we can create this table, and this is more practical approach based on our investigation. Uh, I think it's a, a small towns in Estonia and compare with public situation management uh, in small towns and compare with local with small town in Ukraine, and then I find out the better solutions in order to solve the issue. In this case, for creating the algorithm, we propose to form a process diagram for the database problem solver. Also, we propose to, to uh, for a process diagram for, uh, for form the da database solution. And it was the basis for uh, present, uh, for uh, creating algorithm. This algorithm basis for the Python software in order to a system which helps the managers to make a decision in public transportation management. Uh, this approach is more practicable. It can be um, brought uh, by uh, uh, gathering more information from uh, the systems, uh, from urban transportation, and uh, will be, it can be improved to, by adding the new information. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions. Yeah, yes. uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, how about, do you have some result? How many, uh, as, uh, I see your, your case is a buses, something like emission. Uh, do you have data, uh, the urban transportations, uh, how many trips per day, how the result uh, after before and after implementation of AI applies uh, artificial intelligence? Uh, uh, based on your your uh, simulation or your testing. Uh, thank you so much for Isabel. Uh, first of all, this data I received from uh, questionnaires in, uh, in small towns. I had my I had me I had me with uh, local deep and I just I tried to understand the features of urban transportation. 
transportation management, public transportation. I've uh, uh, got lots of data, especially quality data. And then I got quantitative data because it's a small town and there are now a different number of routes. For example, two, three main routes for, for, for per, per town. And uh, I'd, I'd also um, try to consider on some ethical issues from economical aspects, from ecological aspect, and from the social aspect. Uh, in this case, this information uh, were, uh, were added, uh, was added into the, this uh, applied artificial intelligence source. For example, I, uh, I, I want to understand how we control the number of persons. And I've got uh, the feedback from local towns that they had tick, uh, they has ticket, they have ticket validation. Uh, another town had uh, a ticket, and uh, I in added this um, uh, information in my uh, program software. If I want to understand how we can uh, calculate number of passengers we can receive uh, from this flight, or we have we can choose. Uh, uh, from or we want to uh, validate tickets or we can propose it as an example. Uh, what about the buses? The buses in small towns are not big. It's, uh, the number of seats approximately is for 40 passengers because it's a small towns. Uh, what about also the negative influence of is uh, uh, nitro dioxide emissions is a negative influence on uh, ecological aspect because uh, uh, most of uh, buses uh, has have uh, the diesel in the digital engine is also negative negative uh, impact on uh, sustainable development uh, especially from the ecology. Also, based uh, as I mentioned, I've got I uh, received information from the interviews. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I think you, you may uh, go in specifics uh, for the urban transportation, like uh, uh, buses examples, your uh, bus stop, maybe how the pro the flow, the, the uh, people going to the queue, uh, if the the traffic of the uh, going to the bus did uh, to the to some improvements. It's okay uh, for your explanation just now, I understand that. Yeah, but uh, but you know also we have some interesting issue with uh, our citizens. For example, citizens no want to close bus stops and they send a request to local government. Okay, we want to have bus stop at the near our house. In this case, local government should think: and Is it possible to, uh, for example, establish this bus stop? And that's why sometimes uh, in this case, applied artificial intelligence. Also, we should know how many people enter in this oh. bus stop and how many people use this bus stop in order to get somewhere. That's why, in this case, uh, they uh, they try to uh, to be flexible, and it's nice to hear it from Estonia also that uh, we can be implemented in Ukraine and especially in those towns where uh, small towns are destroyed by rocket attacks, especially in the west. Especially is part of Ukraine, and I hope it's a nice example how they can organize uh, public transportation management with uh, this uh, applied artificial intelligence. Okay, okay, thank you so much for your uh, explanation and answer. Thank you, thank you for the question. Okay, thank you from my side, also. So good, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marina. We thank you. We'll be moving on with the next presentation. I'd like to invite Kayoko Yamamoto to present the paper title, Location Information for Disaster Management and Infectious Disease Control Focusing on Japan. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you very much for your gracious introduction. I wish to uh, share my slide. Okay. Uh, can I see my slide? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, it's visible. Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Kayako Yamamoto, a professor for the University of Electrical Communication Tokyo in Japan. I'm delighted to, to be here. 
The theme of my presentation today is location information for disaster management and infected disease control, focusing on Japan. <coughs> First of all, I will introduce the background and purpose of the present study. Due to the spread of mobile devices with GPS functions, location information is not only used for navigation, but it's also used to obtain various information related to the location information. By realizing cloud computing society and advancing ICT, a large amount of various information can be easily obtained wherever, wherever, and by whoever using some form of information system. In this areas, especially in Japan, it is impossible important to utilize location information for disaster and infected disease countermeasures because disaster management has become the most important topic as the occurrence of meteorological disaster, such as typhoons, torrential rain, and drought, in addition to earthquake and volcanic eruption, have increased worldwide. On the other hand, while there are regional differences, the number of infected people by COVID-19 pandemic has also remained high, and the situation has reached a catastrophic level, requiring long-term measures in Japan. In the present study, location information for disaster management and infected disease control will be covered with the purpose of organizing various aspects of the iteration to discuss related issues focusing on Japan. As the time for my presentation is limited, I will introduce a Japanese example in particular. In the second part, I will introduce the iteration of location information in disaster management. First, I will show the iteration of location information as a disaster big data. Since the Great East Japan earthquake that occurred in the eastern part of Japan in 2011, there have been efforts to statically grasp and utilize location information from car navigation systems and mobile devices. Furthermore, information submitted on social media with specific location information improves the possibility of the intervention in disaster measures and rescue efforts. For representative example in Japan, the integration of submitted information with location information is realized in the disaster information analyzer system in 2014. Next, I will introduce the rescue activities during location information in Japan. The volume of calls is restricted immediately after disaster as the number of calls significantly rises. Therefore, so each telecommunication company establishes disaster message services and disaster emergency message dial, encouraging people to use them. In addition to these activities, effort to utilize location information have increased, and the GPS showing such location information has become a lifeline. Safety confirmation application software using the location information in units of family and companies are becoming widespread for the purpose of confirming the safety of others during a disaster. By using such location information services to consolidate and manage various data related to disaster, the victims can be discovered and rescued. And human resources and materials necessary in rescue and relief efforts can be efficiently sent to each area that requires them. Next, I will introduce a duration of local location information and social media on national and local levels. On a national level, the necessity of organizing and sharing static information from normal times, as well as developing a system to rapidly collect dynamic information, was revealed. In the final report, after the Great East Japan Asuke 2012, Additionally, the development of GIS as powerful tool by the basic plan for emergency preparedness in 2016, because this will support disaster management. On a local level, guidebook for using SNS in disaster was published by the Cabinet Secretariat, with aim to promote the local authorities' use of SNS during disaster in 2017. As you said, the standard for Twitter hashtags was set up by every local authority. In the third place, I will introduce the duration of local social, uh, social media submission with location information in disaster management. And first, I will introduce a consideration of information using social media mapping. Figure one shows a system design of our special information system. The system is made up of SNS, WebGIS, mixed reality, and gallery system, as well as Wikitude, and connecting external social media. Using the function of social media mapping, all of the information with location information submitted from social media uh, 
such as Twitter, Flickr, Instagram, YouTube, and Web Canada can be gathered and displayed on the 2D data map of WebGIS. When a tremendously heavy rain occurred in the western part of Japan, especially in July 2018, a valuable information related to the disaster and it damages using social media was accumulated and displayed on the data map, including the function of social media mapping. Figure 2 describes a screen of social media mapping at the time of heavy rain disaster in 2018 in Seidouji region, which is a part of western Japan and is tremendously damaged area. From this, it is evident that the submitted information includes just before the time of heavy rain disaster, and it concentrated on strike zone. As a representative example of submitted information using social media, figure 3 shows information related to the seriously damaged area in Kurashiki city, Okaima prefecture, which was submitted using YouTube. In the host place, I will introduce the iteration of location information in infected disease control. First, I will describe the iteration of location information on a natural level. In March 2020, the Cabinet Secretary Act and the three ministries made a joint request concerning the provision of surgical data to platform and mobile network operators. In April, the expert meeting for countermeasures against the COVID-19 pandemic was set to up. A proposal to utilize personal information solely for the purpose of detecting clusters at an early stage in the area, where the spread of infectious is predicted was published, considering a privacy protection and the personal information protection law. Additionally, the Cabinet Secretariat organized anti COVID 19 tech chain that were made up of related ministries as well as private corporations. And the COVID-19 contact confirming application software, COCOA, was developed and did, did this in June 2020. Next, I will describe the duration of local information by companies. Location information by companies. For example, since March 2020, the Yahoo Japan has published a survey report related to the changes in the number of visitors to Tokyo Metropolis from neighboring prefectures based on location information. In the fifth place, I will explain the comparison and issues of disaster management and infected disease control. First, I will describe the comparison result. Regarding the com common aspect of disaster management and infected disease control, a disaster almost always turns into a complex disaster because the spread of infected disease also falls under the category of disaster countermeasures basically act. And when infected disease happened, it is difficult to manage evacuation areas and shelters because it is not ideal to have congested stress and countermeasures, including where to prevent the switches of closed spaces, crowded spaces, and crowd contact setting are essential. Regarding the different aspects of disaster management and infected disease control, it is extremely difficult to predict an outbreak of an infected disease. While disaster can be predicted to some extent, though expressed in various ways. As no disaster record an appropriate and prompt response to this situation that is constantly shifting, changing, considering the speed of changes is a concern of the disaster. In connection with these two points, it is important to graph the location and movement of individuals using location information and create effective countermeasures. Especially for disaster management, safety confirmation using location information is crucial. Next, I will describe issues concerning the management of individual location information. Regarding satellite images, the operation of Michibiki started in 2010, which enables stable and high pressure positioning. The benefits are that, that the conscience of damage and evacuations can't be grasped in the case of a disaster, whereas infected people infected are road and cross contact can be identified, and the infected disease prevention policy can be promoted in the case of infected disease. Regarding individual number, my number, I will increase uh, Japanese uh, individual number. I will increase, and it will also be possible to watch over the elderly population from normal time. 
This is concerning the above includes the handling of personal information and privacy, as well as the risk uh, for providing the data of users. Special rights agencies in the US and the UK presented the Reuters Carter, which is an ethics guide in dealing with location information in March 2021. This is anticipated to be a catalyst of discussion towards the future regulation of each country. Next, I will describe issues concerning. <laughs> well, sorry. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I just tried to remind you of the time limit. Wow. Well, <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, just uh, just one page. Uh, ah, I will, so, I will say explain. Right. Okay. This it's this page. Right. Okay. It's okay. All right. okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, next, uh, I will describe issues concerning the changes in the information environment in Japan as virtual space and reality space are integrated, which is called data twin in the super smart society or society 5.0. That was proposed in the fifth science and technological basic plan. Events in both spaces affect each other on a daily basis. In addition to the setting rules for the iteration of social media, the role of shifting through information and communicating this with people responsible for government measures is necessary. And furthermore, in order to prevent those vulnerable to disaster and affect disease from becoming information poor, various information communication methods, including verbal addresses, are required. As a right, it is important to encourage people to respond by efficiently uh, using ICT. Uh, it is necessary for people who are not familiar with using ICT uh, uh, to first be familiarized with it in their daily life. Uh, this was a uh, 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 short conclusion, uh, second page is conclusion and uh, future research topics. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm very sorry. Time is uh, time is short. Thank you. It's all right. We proceed with the questions. Mm -hmm. Sir Abdul, would you like to ask any question? Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you are locating uh, information or disaster. Uh, yes. based on the ICT so uh, some of disaster like uh, earthquake uh, flooding uh, tsunami they may yes. damage infrastructures yes. Uh, yes. like uh, communication internet access then we don't have yes. connected yes. to the internet yes. so how you adjustment of this error mm -hmm. to do uh, your, your, your result uh, because uh, in disaster, mostly uh -huh. impact the the infrastructure. Uh huh. Uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your present. Uh, for your uh, question, uh, comment. Uh, mm, I think. Uh, location information. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a uh, uh, life life of information. I, uh, uh, it means. Uh. Location information uh, means uh, where uh, any person are uh, uh, stay, and uh, uh, after uh, in Japan, uh, uh, we can predict the uh, the uh, the time the time uh, uh, of when a tsunami uh, will uh, uh, reach the coastal area, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, we can uh, we can uh, obtain the information. Uh, uh, such information from uh, local as the central government, and we 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 can uh, we can uh, keep uh, enough enough time uh, to uh, run away from coastal area to a uh, highland area. Uh, however, uh, so the local government uh, wish to uh, confirm confirm uh, each person's uh, view. Uh, so, uh, using uh, that big location information, uh, we can confirm uh, each person, uh, each person's, uh, each, uh, the area, uh, the area. We can uh, confirm uh, the area uh, where each person uh, live our stay uh, using location information. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, uh, answer. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know Japanese tsunami? Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I, I know because we are similar. Uh -huh. we, are, we are from Indonesia, also got many disaster like uh -huh. earthquakes, uh, volcanoes, uh, flooding. Oh, volcan. Yes, yes. Then we try to simulate, use uh -huh. the ICT. It's not uh -huh. yes. can be a real hundred yes. percent because the yes. infrastructure may yes. impact on the, the yes. location. Yes. Yeah. Uh, me, we may adjust uh, uh, uh -huh. the disaster of, to uh -huh. the uh, disaster. Yes. All right. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, thank you for your presentation and answer. Uh -huh. Our time may be a bit very tight, so you cannot <laughs> continue <laughs> our discussion. Thank you for your presentation. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you from my side also. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kayoko. We'll be yes. moving on with the next presenter. Uh huh. I'd like to invite Alexander to present the paper titled Methods for Assessment of Quality and Efficiency of Control and Management by Complex Informatiology Systems. Please go ahead, sir. Do we have Alexander, sir? I think he's not available. Ma'am Priyanka, would you like for me to move on with the next presenter since we don't have Sir Alexander with us? Moving on, I'd like to invite our next presenter, Osama Faker to present the paper titled Quantum Machine Learning and Intrusion Detection Systems, a Systematic Mapping Study. Please go ahead, sir. Can you help me? Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. I am happy to uh, sharing my work uh, today with you. Uh, I'm going to explain or uh, present my work, Quantum Machine Learning and Intrusion Detection System, Systematic Mapping Review. I am a PhD student in uh, Atlam University. Uh, let's start with the uh, outline, and, uh, which includes uh, introduction, work, methodology, result, and discussion, and conclusion. Uh, introduction uh, includes overview of uh, intrusion detection system, uh, quantum computing, and systematic mapping review. Uh, now there's, there is a lot of uh, attackers try to to treat the network around the world and developing a lot of tools and software to uh, try to access to uh, network is uh, and on other uh, other hand there is a lot of companies and developers uh, developing a lot of tools and devices to uh, detect and prevent uh, those unauthorized user to treat the uh, uh, confidently availability or uh, 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 integrity. So IDS is a, a device of software that monitor and analyze data streaming and try to detect and prevent unauthorized users or attacks to access to uh, network resources and treat uh, those uh, resources and treat confidently integrity and uh, uh, availability. Uh, IDS, the main purpose of IDS is uh, detected suspicious and malicious uh, activities. There is three types of IDS uh, according to its location in the network, host-based IDS and network-based IDS and hybrid-based IDS. Uh, there is two uh, main technique uh, or approaches of intrusion detection system. Uh, the first one, signature-based IDS. That means IDS have uh, a database included uh, information and data about uh, a known attack and ideas to uh, match between the traffic and network and uh, the information and the data set. Uh, the another uh, approach is a normally uh, based ideas. Uh, it's mainly based on uh, AR uh, algorithms or artificial intelligence algorithms like uh, classical machine learning or uh, deep learning uh, neural network. And these techniques try to uh, detect any uh, anomalous uh, behavior or uh, or uh, unknown attack in the network traffic. Uh, a quantum computing is a new approaches to computing. Uh, this technique is more efficient, uh, more than efficient uh, of uh, uh, classical computing 
uh, has some uh, features like qubits, the basic building block of uh, quantum computing, and qubits can be uh, zero or one or both in the same time, uh, which is called uh, superposition. And uh, another feature is an entanglement qubits. Uh, uh, there is a relationship between qubits and depends on each other and effect uh, on each other. Uh, also, quantum computing uh, uh, has a capability to enhance cryptography, optimization, and machine learning. Uh, uh, machine, quantum machine learning is a integration between uh, principles of uh, or uh, capability of quantum computing and machine learning to create new algorithms and models for machine learning. Aim to uh, the aim of uh, uh, this integration uh, to take advantage or bring advantage of unique uh, uh, properties of quantum computing to uh, machine learning. There is uh, three, four uh, method to integration between uh, data and algorithms. First, uh, we can uh, use quantum data with a classical algorithm or uh, classical data with quantum algorithm or quantum. Uh, uh, data and the quantum uh, algorithms. Uh, to accomplish our work, we 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 uh, we uh, use systematic mapping review, uh, which is a set of steps uh, or the process of defining and categorizing and analyzing existing literature that is relevant to certain research topic. Uh, systematic mapping review has uh, the five uh, five main steps uh, and. Steps has uh, outcomes start with definition of research question. After that, conduct search. Uh, next, it's screen of papers. Uh, after that, keywording using abstract, and finally uh, extract the uh, the data to answer our uh, uh, research question. Uh, related work uh, until December uh, to, uh, 2022, there is no SLR or SMR. Uh, talk about uh, applying uh, quantum machine learning in IDS, uh, quantum computing outperform classical computers on uh, machine learning tasks, and there is some difficulties uh, facing the quantum computing, uh, computing like reading classical data and extracting and selecting feature, and a lot or uh, many kinds of algorithms, uh, artificial intelligent algorithms have been applied in uh, intrusion detection and have uh, achieved satisfactory results. Uh, methodology planning of systematic mapping. We uh, uh, define five steps for uh, our plan. Uh, the aim of our work uh, is to determine and characterize the state of the art of quantum machine learning based uh, intrusion detection system. Uh, we uh, define five steps for our work. We start with define research question. I'm sorry here, it is uh, wrong. Define research question. We create uh, four uh, research questions to discover or explore uh, the unbroken has quantum uh, quantum machine learning brought to intrusion detection system and uh, the most efficient quantum machine learning algorithm in the field of uh, intrusion detection system. Also, the uh, challenges facing, uh, facing the use of quantum machine learning and intrusion detection system, and also uh, try to explore the most important. Uh, future work for uh, quantum machine learning based intrusion detection system. The second step defines search strategy, start with uh, define the major terms, uh, string, uh, uh, search string. We define uh, major terms, two major terms, quantum machine learning and intrusion detection system. And we uh, link it between them by Boolean expression. And, and also we uh, define some or selected some uh, alternative terms for both major terms as we show in this, uh, in this table. And also we uh, link between uh, alternative terms by uh, uh, Boolean expression for. Also we selected uh, four academic database, uh, which is uh, Springer Science Direct, SM Digital Library, IEEE Explorer. Also the target items is journal paper, workshop paper, conference paper, industry workshop, uh, conference contribution. Uh, our search applies to title, abstract keywords, and full text. Uh, the language is uh, English for all selected study. Publication period be between June uh, 2010 and December 2022. Uh, the uh, third uh, step defines selection criteria. We uh, 
we uh, define some uh, selection criteria to evaluate uh, uh, our selected study. And inclusion criteria, uh, criteria contains search results study the search string, paper published in an academic journal or conference, paper published between 2010 and 2022, paper are written in English, and the uh, exclusion criteria included paper as summary or presentation, the paper is published as technical report, bachelor or master thesis, a great literature. The fourth step, define quality assessment to ensure the quality of our selected study. We define or create uh, five uh, questions to evaluate our selected study. Question one, are the study's objectives and methodology properly stated? Question two, are the studies variables likely to be accurate and valid? Question three, are all researchers research question answered. Uh, question four, what additional knowledge has the research added? Question five, does the purpose of the study begin with the conclusion? The last step, define uh, data aggregation. We extract and collected some uh, relevant and information data from selected uh, study uh, to answer our question, like uh, quantum machine learning type, accuracy rate, and another information. Also, we uh, uh, extracting the standard uh, data, such as a primary study ID, authors, title, publisher, publication year, number of uh, pages. Uh, section four, result and discussion. Uh, when we uh, conduct our research uh, on uh, the four uh, database, academic database, we got uh, 237 articles. After that, we apply inclusion and exclusion criteria. We obtain 32 articles. Next, it, we screen title and abstract keywords. We got uh, 18 articles. After that, we uh, apply uh, snowball technique. Uh, we added three articles. And the final uh, selected uh, article was 221. Uh, and we read all uh, reading full text to extract information and data and answers, uh, answer uh, our research question. Uh, the data we extracted and collected organized by uh, the Excel sheet, as we show on this figure, and we create some figures and tables that include some information uh, about our work. Uh, in this figure, uh, in, uh, in the left, uh, we show the distributed of article uh, by the years from 2010 2000, uh, until 2022, uh, we show uh, we can show that uh, most of uh, uh, half of uh, studies uh, published in 2022, uh, also the half of study published uh, in IEEE journal and 32 percent in Sebringer and 11 percent in Science Dietetic and 6 percent in ACM. Uh, uh, research question one, what improvement has quality machine learning improved to IDS, quality machine learning improved performance and accuracy rate of intrusion detection system. Uh, it uh, has ability and efficiency to analyzing uh, large data and achieve lower competition and complexity rate and uh, quantum machine learning uh, techniques are promising technology and will provide many advantages of uh, to uh, intrusion detection system. Uh, the uh, research question two, what are the most efficient quantum machine learning algorithms in the field of IDS? We, we select uh, two criteria, high accuracy, uh, what uh, the high accuracy achieved by the algorithms uh, in uh, selected study and the most algorithm used in, the, in those uh, selected study. Uh, the incremental quantum measurement anomaly detection and adaptive quantum uh, artificial amino system uh, achieved the, the, the highest accuracy, uh, which is 99% uh, as accuracy. And the most used uh, quantum machine learning is quantum support vector machine, as we show in this uh, table. Uh, research question uh, three, what are the challenges facing the use of quantum machine learning in intrusion detection system? Quantum computing is still uh, in the research and deployment stage. There is lack of quantum computing hardware and lack of enough uh, qubits to uh, uh, performance or uh, 
uh, applying the quantum machine learning in, 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 in a good environment or uh, high uh, efficient uh, uh, environment. Uh, research question four, what are the most important future work and quantum machine learning based intelligent detection system? Uh, the future work is uh, depend on uh, provide uh, uh, enough qubits uh, and uh, use modern, large and more complex T attack data set and integration with feature selection and extraction technique to uh, build uh, uh, more accurate uh, models. Uh, section five uh, conclusion. We can uh, list some points as a, con a conclusion. I discuss key challenges in monitoring and uh, detecting uh, uh, security breaches. Quantum machine uh, learning techniques made a significant uh, improvement in intrusion detection system. A quantum machine uh, learning based intrusion detection system enhanced accuracy and efficient rate and performance time. Uh, quantum machine learning based intrusion detection system uh, reduce complexity and deals with a uh, big data uh, for uh, future work. Uh, uh, we can use more qubits, hybrid approach, and complex big data sets. References. Thank you for your listening and attention. Next question. Thank you. Thank you, Osama, sir. We will proceed with the questions. Uh, Priyanka may asking something. Professor. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. So at present also we are having few uh, uh, IDS, IPS, right? So uh -huh. uh, how quantum machine learning, or you quantum. can say different from machine learning, can be more helpful in systematic mapping? In nutshell, if I want to say in one or two sentence. Yes, sir. Please, can you repeat that question? I can't understand. Quantum machine learning can help us for which situation? Yeah, yeah, existing one. Sir, it's, uh, are there, right? Existing one. With intelligent techniques, there are already existing few ideas. Uh, I am I'm uh, sorry. Uh, 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 the sound is not clear. Please repeat. Quantum machine learning help us. Okay, sound is not clear. Uh, what I was trying to convey is that we are having ideas intuition detection system with intelligent techniques. Okay, say we are having at existing also. Few companies are providing. What are the scope in that? If the voice is not clear, it's okay. Next time we'll discuss. I may no, no, ask. I, uh, I can... There is some problem in your uh, your your sound. Can you? Uh, I can't. Hear just you. a minute, wait. It's it's okay, sir. I request another panel member to ask. It's okay. If anyone, uh, yeah, yes, yes, uh, uh, some, uh, maybe I, uh, like question from you. Based on your result, just now you have uh two hundred and thirty seven uh, articles. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. So do you have uh, uh, any comparisons? How the speed based on your using quantum computing compare uh, to other uh, previous speed as i know the the quantum quantum expected the thousands uh, the speed uh, increasing more than 1000 compared to the current uh, technology of the computing like uh, the micro processor or nano processor do you have some uh, a comparison or how increasing the speed up of processor using uh, current uh, quantum computing, although the, not yet finalized, the quantum computing, quantum computing still on the process on development. Do you have some how far the, the speed up of the currently? Yes. That you use? Yeah, the main advantage to uh, uh, improve the speed up of uh, quantum machine learning is uh, the feature of quantum computing is called uh, integument, where uh, where the, uh, or uh, superposition, where 
the the qubit uh, have this uh, can be zero and one in the uh, in the same time, and uh, there is a relationship between uh, all the qubits. There is relationship uh, all uh, qubits depend on another uh, qubits. That the main reason to 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 make the quantum machine learning is more faster than the classical uh, computer. Uh, about compression, I, I can't uh, found uh, uh, any uh, studies or uh, article about uh, about the compression between classical or or quantum machine learning and technical um, side. Uh, and uh, the quantum machine learning is uh, uh, considered as a new uh, uh, field and trend uh, uh, using in the intrusion detection or uh, another uh, another uh, field in uh, software engineering or computer science. Mm. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. So so far, yeah, they they are still uh, on step of development and process. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you uh, just mapping just now, uh, mapping study. Okay, can I thank you for your answer. Can, yeah, can, yes. Can you take uh, the previous question from Prof. Uh, Frank? Because oh. I can't uh, hear him. Can I? Uh, yes, the, the sound just now is not clear. I heard also. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you for your, your maybe your time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much you. For, your, for your presentation. Thank yes. You. The presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Osama. We will be moving on with the last presentation of the day. Uh, I'd like to invite Kus Priyantu to present the paper titled Social Media and Healthcare, Effectiveness of Education about COVID-19 Vaccination to Improve Knowledge and Attitudes in Students. Please go ahead, sir. Okay, okay thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I want to present my uh, article, uh, the title. Uh, I want to uh, share my, my presentation. Okay, my question. Yes, yes, the sir. title is Effectiveness of Education about COVID-19 Vaccination to Improve Knowledge and Attitude about COVID-19 Vaccination in, in student in student. For decades, vaccination has been considered the best method of controlling rapidly spreading infectious infectious disease. Vaccination except is its protective effect by stimulating humoral and cellular immune response. The relative importance of humoral and cellular immunity in providing protection from infection varies among infective organisms. B-cell response are better represented in the literature due to the age of antibody measures and the lack of a clear immune correlation of protection for T cell driven response. response. Nevertheless, it should, it should be not noted that emerging evidence points to, to a strong rule for T cell mediated immunity in COVID infection 19. The World Health Organization considers patient assistance a significant threat to global health. Reported, accepted that of COVID-19 vaccine vary around the world. But a recent global report on acceptance of COVID-19 vaccines illustrates that nearly 30% of investigated participants would, would refuse of uh, hesitant to take a COVID-19 vaccine if one was available. The Middle East uh, is one of the regions with the lowest vaccine acceptance rates globally. As the vaccine development process advances, it is, it is very important to increase acceptance of new vaccines. Developing an, an effective COVID-19 vaccine strategy requires proper understand, understanding of the factor that will influence vaccination decision because this factor may change for individuals who receive uh, an are determined to take the vaccine from those who do not. Twitter and Facebook. During the, the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, shows 
with low credibility dominated Twitter and Facebook posts related to COVID-19, eclipsing traditional news and mass media. Online, but increasingly confuse user and reduce the ability to distinguish dreadful fake news. A bot is computer bot designs, designs to appear as a credible user profile uh, or new source but instead becomes a weapon for disinformation. Social media platform will hoax and misinformation about the etiology as origin of COVID-19, its treatment and prevention with patients. Social media companies can invest greater resources to combat this detrimental agent of the infodemic. Uh, the purpose of this study was to analyze the effect of education about COVID-19 vaccination with knowledge and attitude about COVID-19 vaccination in Yogyakarta Mobah University student with increased knowledge and attitude about the COVID-19 vaccination. It is hoped that it will increase the scope of vaccination toward herd immunity. The use of social media such as Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram is expected to increase the effectiveness of education. Method, the research is quantitative quantitative study with a quasi-experimental design with one group, pre-test and post-test design. This research was conducted in December 2021 and June 2022 at Jogja Mohamda University. The population in this study were studied of two of the accounting study program, public economic and business, the university. The number of sample in the study were 44 students. The instrument used was a questionnaire about knowledge and attitude about the 2019 COVID vaccination. Treatment procedure after completing the pretest student were asked to the given education about the 2019 COVID vaccination. After being education, students were asked to fill out the post test. After the data was collected, data anal analysis was carried out using the Wilcoxon test. The sampling method was simple random sampling. Result of uh, static analysis of knowledge, the P, P value is 0 0.014. Uh, the statistic result in the in the table so that the P value is uh, less than 0 0.05, the S significant different. In this study, an average uh, 6.25 point was obtained from the pretest score of 5.25 to uh, 12.90 in the post test score. This increase in value so that there is an effect of education to increase education, education knowledge of the COVID-19 vaccination. A result of statistical analysis for attitude about vaccination COVID-19, the p-value is 0 0.001. The statistical test result and the table so that the p-value is 0 0.001. Less than uh, 0 0.05. This is a, a significant difference in attitude about uh, COVID-19 vaccination. Uh, the increase this follows so the there is an effect of education on increasing a uh, certain attitude toward COVID-19 vaccination. Discussion pattern on Twitter. This study found several changes and discussion pattern on Twitter along with this development. Similar sen sentiment and topic pattern were found in other students using natural language processing and deep learning technique of uh, Facebook and Twitter posts. The result of this study indicate that 
this pattern applies across platform. The number of tweets uh, about COVID-19 vaccination is luckily driven by major event and milestones in the development of vaccination in new variant of the virus. Uh, our survey shows adherence to intended COVID-19 vaccination is significantly higher among respondents who lost the job during the crisis due, the, due to the pandemic compared to those with essential job who continue to work uh, or uh, who live in life in home but do not work. Confident about returning whenever possible. The biggest concern for doctors and general public is fear over the safety of vaccines, give their rapid uh, development. The safety consideration most frequently considered include include quality control, potential slight effect, and associated COVID nineteen disease. Germany is the most reliable country of origin for vaccines. The country of origin of the vaccines was identified as one of the factors that inflates participants to be hesitant about vaccines. Those, those participants were provided with a list of countries with the greatest vaccine productive product productivity and asked to record the level of confidence in the producing countries. Of the countries list, the majority of participants, 78%, uh, choose Germany as the most reliable country of origin for patients, with India as the least respondent uh, most likely to receive uh, COVID-19 vaccine developed outside the outside of Kazakhstan. Interestingly, uh, both group, uh, both group of daughter and acceptor of COVID-19 show significant resistance toward uh, vaccine developed by Kazakhstan and uh, appear to be more receptive to vaccine develop developed outside of Kazakhstan. The success of COVID vaccination effort depends on the acceptance of the vaccine among the wider community. Experts feel it is important to determine the acceptability of the vaccine. Following a systematic methodology, we have developed a validated questionnaire that is concise and easy to understand. The questionnaire will allow us to interpret vaccine acceptance and our doubt by assessing knowledge, attitude, practice, and communicating the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccine literacy affect uh, vaccine assistance. Vaccination confidence. Vaccine confidence is influenced by confidence uh, in the safety and effectiveness of vaccines, trust in health care and public health professionals and the health care delivery system and trust in policymakers who develop vaccination requirements. Experts have not uh, declined in public confidence in vaccination. Vaccination satisfaction is influenced by individual health belief. Uh, example for perception of vaccination risk, perceived, perceived risk of severity of this, of disease, perceived need, the need for vaccination, and self-efficacy of vaccination and the assessment of the risk and benefit of vaccination. Ironic, ironically, successful vaccination has contributed to the satisfaction by reducing pre perceived risk and, this, and disease severity. Conclusion, education about COVID-19 vaccination is effective in increasing student knowledge and institute about COVID-19 vaccination. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. This is my presentation. Yes. Thank you, sir. We will move on with the questions. Uh, thank you from my side. It was okay. Sir Abdul, would you like to ask any question? May, Pranka, do you have something? 
to us. Oh, okay. Uh, I I have uh, some. Uh, 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 how about your your because on your titles, uh, social media and healthcare. Then I saw your presentation just now. You collect data from the uh, students. Yes. Within uh twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. Yes. Uh, how many data? And what is the kind of set of data? Uh, do you have something? This yeah, twenty twenty one, twenty two. Then uh, how many data you collect from the yeah. student? I, I mean, the number of student maybe, and uh, what kind of data? The indicator, the sets, uh, related to the healthcare and social media, to what? Uh, the the COVID and vaccination. Uh, do you have some bigger number? This always mean uh, mean uh, this data. Uh, and is it number of the person? And yes. it's number of the uh, no, uh, respondent. Or oh, respondent, yes, number. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, 44. 44 respondents. 44 respondents. Yes. Oh, see, uh, during one year. So, yes. so yeah, yeah. Because the number quite low, uh, quite low. Do you have some specifics? Uh, I mean, for the student, uh, what kind of the question? If you have a questionnaire, uh, do you have impacted COVID before? How long? Do you have something like data set or indicator or is parameter for the for the each oh. person of the students? So oh, I'm sorry, the student is a. Uh... Not uh not to turn with with the illness of of uh COVID nineteen, but the student is to turn healthy. Uh, oh, not, you not mean healthy. It's, yes, yeah. Uh, only only give an an education education. So with education, we we have the student uh can to can to uh, protective can to protect protect with the COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. no, uh, with the, this, uh, is it school uh, student or high higher education students? Uh, no, school school student about the in the student. Uh, secondary. Secondary, yes, secondary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the previous slide. I see 2021, 2022. Uh, yeah. you collect from uh, this is a conduct in 21 at this. Oh, mm, yeah. Normally. Actually, we are also doing on healthcare before, uh, uh, but there is a, a many parameter data set. So they give impact when we do analyze yeah. or simulation. So the result, yeah, uh, uh, variant of the data. I saw this number of sample is 34. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe we, you can explain more. Among 20, uh, 44, uh, come yeah. with, uh, is this at the same school? Same yes. school of the student? And there were one school. And one school. And the, oh. There's a two and one school. And uh, uh, only treatment, only, only yeah. treatment. Uh, okay, okay. And uh, understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for the, maybe we, we analyze a uh, one city like this uh, Yogyakarta, so yes. maybe we can set a data in various in uh, yes. uh, several schools, a number age, uh, 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 gender uh, or any kind impacted not impacted. So there is barriers. Then we get a result analyze a bit uh, uh, a significant, so we can get a, a good uh, result maybe. It's okay. Uh, nice. You you analyze maybe focusing up for the students, yeah. but now number may increase. Uh, yeah. Uh, normally people are talking about thousand number. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you for your your uh, answer and explanation. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 
Uh, I'd like to once again ask for uh, presenter Alexandra, is there here to present the paper? It seems we do not have some. Yes. That brings us to the conclusion of the presentation. I sincerely thank our authors for their excellent presentation contribution in this session and all our participants for being a part of this international conference. I hope this session was informative enough. We on behalf of the whole team, thank you for the support during the seventh version and all the previous six versions of the conference. We will be happy to have you in the eighth version in 2024. All the presenters would be getting their digital certificates through email within two working days. Further all, all the papers have been already forwarded to the Springer. The publication will be live within six months. Kindly cooperate with the team of World Expo 2023. I also thank our session chair, Professor Vizal Abdul Kader, and Professor Priyanka Sharma for chairing this session. A token of appreciation to the chair on behalf of Team World S4 2023 and Global Knowledge Research Foundation and Partners. Thank you for thank your you. presence, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was nice. Thank session. you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, okay, thank you so much. Bye. I kindly request all of you to turn on the camera for a quick snapshot of this virtual conference. Please turn okay. on the camera. All right. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe and take care. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I want to leave. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right.